Luna stars and community dwellers, thanks for coming back to the Luna Sims channel here on YouTube. I have something very exciting to share with you if you have not gone to the simscommunity.info website yet and seen what they are sneak peeking for the next community game pack. So they have leaked a preview of behind the scenes concept art look at an upcoming Sims 4 community stuff pack. Sorry, for some reason I said game pack. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. So there is a blog post that they put up and they shared with us a process of how they go through and, and pick the colors, the textures of items that we're gonna be using in this next pack, which I will have pictures coming up soon. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you again so much for being here. Before we get started, that awesome Luna Star love power. 70% of you are not subbed to the channel. I wouldn't want you to miss any of this awesome information that is constantly coming through this channel, okay? So go ahead and smash that sub button, thumbs up this video, and hit that little bell so you don't miss any of the next videos. All right, guys, so, Pretty much the next community stuff pack is one that we've all been voting for and going through the past couple months, all right? Super exciting to see all the things that are going through. But now the Sims community is sharing with us how they go through this process and to see the difference in these items, it's awesome. I will say the item that they're showing us is just one of the items that was voted for from the Sims community. Now I've seen some posts on Instagram, on Twitter, and how people are, are kind of shocked that they didn't get, you know, one of the other titles that they voted for. But I mean, we've known about this for months. I mean, the entire community voted on it and well, DIY was the choice. So you shouldn't be too shocked by now. All right, so the first picture that we're gonna be looking at, and this is exactly how they shared it on their blog. This is one of the items that was voted on that they are actually gonna be putting into the game. This is adorable. I'm a DIYer, I'm a fashion stylist, I'm hands-on crafty. This is exactly something that I would have in my own space. It's adorable, it's cute, I love the different textures, um, the different detailing and the yarns and the cubbies and even that chevron backdrop. It, I want it. My size, please. So this was, this is the first stage that they're showing us of how they render and start putting things into the game that makes it Sims lifelike. Quoted from the actual blog, when an object like this is selected by the art director, or in this case, it moves on to the next stage of concept. The next stage that they're talking about is the polish phase. This is where they take the object, the 2D form, and they make it a flat. And they put it next to the sizing of what a sim would be. And then they look at the chair rail, the baseboard, the front, the back, and the side. So they're getting that 360 view all around. So they have it now in a flat, gridded picture. As stated, it says we do this so the modeler can understand what the concept artist and the art director think it should look like. You guys are amazing. I've always, I've always thought things in the sim looked very good, but once you see the process of how they do it and how they change things, it makes me love it probably 10 times more, if not a hundred. Once they get through all of that entire process, the next step is the concept artist renders a polished three quarter view of what the object should look like in the game. Now, going through the first two pictures and then looking at this last picture, the detailing, I can see the lines in the yarn. I can pretty darn close see the lines in the book on the top shelf. The textures, the everything that they've done by going back from the first picture and then going down to the, the third picture. Now, as you've noticed, that in the first picture, things are placed a little bit differently. Um, at the top, um, in front of the chevron, there was an extra cubby there that is no longer there that was in the picture. 
I believe there was another thing of yarn that was moved. So once they got through and realized that yes, the drawing is fantastic, but once you put it into actual computer programming, coding, and get all of that rendered and everything, that you do have to arrange things. But still, the outcome look to me is adorable, phenomenal, and I love that they're giving us this access to actually look at how they do this. When games pull in their community to actually show us players how they do this, you pretty much have a, a higher respect for what they're doing. So the fourth picture here is showing you how they're taking each of the textures. So once they have everything down to how they want the body of it, now they're gonna go deeper into the product. Now we have the wolf picture with the flowers, that has its own texture. Our background of the chevron has its own print texture. We have embroidery texture, we have print texture, and then we have wood texture. The fact that they look in the detail of this that, my friend, is art. Once they pull all of that together and then they start scaling everything so it makes sense. Now, of course, our Sims are people and it needs to be relative to them. So say this Sim is six foot tall and do you want the shelf to be five foot? Uh, probably not, the use for it. They need to scale the shelving just like anything else in the game and this is how they do it. They take into account of every little thing is measured down to the nitty gritty of every dimension. Now that's when they lose me because I don't like numbers. Finally, they have a full layout of all of the color options for this specific item that will be in the new community pack. It's adorable. I love all the colors. That purple is phenomenal. The browns, I feel like we could maybe have a brown in between those two browns. I don't know what it is with the white shelf on that brown one, but I probably won't be using that one. It kind of drives me insane. But just to look at how much different they had to look at the different textures of each item. I don't know. It looks like to me that even in some of the woods even had to have a different texture. So, I mean, I applaud you guys. You guys have done a lot of work just for this one piece. Ah, just think about all the other pieces that you guys are working on. So looking at all these pictures, what is your top three of this item color choice that you see yourself using? Now, I've already seen on Instagram and Twitter that there are highly concerns that one, the colors are too bright and two, we don't know if they're gonna match with anything else that goes with any packs. But honestly, when is that ever new? So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this process? Are you excited to see the new community pack and what they're offering and the DIY field? Or are you kinda like, you know what? I'm not interested. We can move on to something else. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Luna Stars, I love you, and this is Galaxy Out. Thank you.